In this project we're going to start to build and publish our own games and we will go from there. So the first thing I want to do is uh, let's make sure you have the same window I do. So window, layouts, default, and I'm using Unity 5.2 I think it is. You should also be. Um, I'm creating a 3D game, so when I created my new project, it was 3D. And make sure you're in the scene, not in the game. First thing I do is I don't need this camera, I'm going to delete it. So edit, delete. Okay, so I'm going to build a, a ground terrain, if you will. And then a little building on it. And then we're going to publish it. So, the first thing I want to do is game object. Create, I'm going to create a cube. And there it is. I'm going to call it, I'm going to right click, rename, call it ground. There we go, ground. Okay. Now, one thing I found out is with this thing you can move this little hand. You can move your objects around, or you can hit, uh, I think it's the command key, and have it do all sorts of things. But let's say we move this thing, and I can't find it. If I go here and double click, there it is. So you can always go double click here in the hierarchy window and bring it right back. This doesn't look anything like ground, does it? So let's scale it. We're over here, we're clicked on the object. Let's make it like, I don't know, 25. And I don't want this too thick, so maybe 0.5. And let's make this 20. Okay, and let's double click on it again. There it is. Wow, okay, I said 0.5. Much better. Okay. So that is my terrain. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now, if you don't have terrain, and we start playing the game, and there's nothing for your object to sit on, it's sinking. So if you make a game, and you put some trees or uh, one of your objects from my inside here, and all of a sudden you look and it's sunk below, well, there's nothing for it to sit on. You've got to create some kind of object for it to sit on. Just like there's no gravity. Um, there, so with, with, you know, if we don't stand on something, if we're standing on a cliff and we step off, we're falling. So is this going to happen? Okay, so that's our terrain. Let's create a little building. Yeah, I know you can go to game object and um, create terrain right there, but we're going to create it ourselves. We know a little bit more uh, experience. So 3D object, cube again. Let's move this sucker up a little bit. And so we're going to make this a wall. So let's maybe have it like 8 by 8. And maybe 0.25. Something like that. Okay, let me see it's not sitting the way we want it to. Let's rotate it on the Z and see what happens. Ah, there we go. Okay, that would be our back wall. So let's sort of zoom in and let's put it there. Right about there. Zoom in a little bit. Well, maybe we'll make it 10. A little bit bigger. And then let's move it back a little. And out a little. Okay, so we're going to do two things now. Well, of course, we need to mix the other walls, but well, we're going to do it easy because we're going to click on this and we're going to hit Command D on a Mac, Control D on a IBM, and we have the other wall. And I want this one to go on the side, so I'm going to try rotating X, no X, 90 degrees. And that didn't do what I wanted it to. So let me make that zero. No, I want that 90. 
Let me try this 90. That's what I wanted. So I rotated the Y90. Move it in. Good. And I'm going to hit Command D. And I'm going to move this one right about there. Zoom around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And maybe this one needs to. A little bit further. Okay. Not bad. And now we need to have an entrance. This one needs to be moved over a little. So we're going to copy this one. Command D. Well, actually, before we do that, we want to be able to move this thing as one piece. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to game object, create empty, and I'm going to right click and rename. walls. And then I'm going to rename all of these. Call that wall 1. Two. Rename. Three. Now, I'm going to put them all inside here. Once it goes in blue, you let it go. Okay, so there they all are. Now watch this. I want to move something. Wait a minute. Click on walls. The whole thing moves. That's what I want. On the other hand, if I want to, I think it was wall two and move it, I can just go back and click on that. Okay, let's see what we got here. This needs to come out some. And so this one is 90, 90, and 0. 90, 90, 0. Okay, we should be all right. This one seems to have a weird angle to it. Let me rotate this just a little. Okay. And let's go back to the move. Alright, so I want to create a door. So I'm going to Command D, and I'm going to move this, okay. But there is no door there, so it, you know, it doesn't look right. Let's move this out a little, and zoom back a little. Okay, so this wall is too big. So let's maybe make it four. Not four there though. Make it four on the Z. And move it. And I don't know why we have that little angle there, but we may fix that in a second. Maybe because our ground, oh, that's why. Okay, so now I'm going to go walls, and this thing's not sitting down. Need to zoom in some. There we go. And maybe because we're at the wrong angle. Let's just take wall three. And rotate it back. And move this in. I'm going to have to rotate this one too. 
Not sure quite why that's happening, but we'll live with it. And then out of the ways. Okay, then uh, Command D. And I've got that one. Okay, and for some reason I'm going to have to rotate that one a little bit too. Okay. And I don't really like those at about 3.5. Okay, now notice if I go back to my walls and I want to move them, the whole thing moves, which is what we want. Okay, let's zoom out a little while. And let's move this over a little. And it's not okay. So now we need to make this look a little bit better. So let's um, put some texture on here. So we've got materials. Um, import new asset. And I'm going to go to my images and get some grass. I'm going to put it um, on the website and up on uh, Google Classroom. So I've got my grass. And if I put it on there, and then go to my materials, there it is. Now uh, that looks sort of ugly, if you will. And my wall's still not right. Okay, so it's stretching all over the place. And we can see it right here. Now we can change the color of it if you wanted to. You could get there and get the green. Oh, I can make it look pretty weird. If I got AstroTurf, whatever you want to do. You can make it a little bit blue if you wanted to. Yeah. But let's go with white. So we're going to stick it with white up here, white. And this is stretched. So let's make sure. So we're in the normal mode here. But we have this tiling. So if we make that two and make that too. That looks better. So again, clicking on our um, texture up in this thing here, we make sure you're in the normal mode. We can change this tiling some. I think that looks a lot better. Okay. Now, for my uneven castle here. Zoom out a little bit. We want to put some texture on here too. Well, that doesn't look so good, does it? And let's go around here and see what we got. Okay, and this needs to come out a little bit. And go on a little bit. And I think this needs to come down and back. And then for some reason, he rotated. And then back down. Okay, so I'm going to put some brick on here. So right click, come in my materials. Um, no materials here. I'm going to right click, create, um, or actually import new asset. And I'm going to go into my images, and let's get red brick. Now you can find these, oh, we're not in there either. Online, if you want, uh, try to find seamless materials, seamless textures, you can put them on. 
And this thing right here is still not right. Let's zoom over here. Okay. Still no idea why this thing is not rotated right, but it's not. So anyway, we're going to put this brick on it. Now you can also just drag it up here. So, or you can put it on the material, whichever you want. So there's my castle. Still not lined up quite right, is it? For some reason, I'm still scaling it. Anyway, let's leave it at that. Okay, so we have nothing in here. Well, first of all, let's put a little floor in there. So in this case, let's do use the... Um, let's use a plane. Where is that plane? It's right there. Raise it above, set it inside there. Let's scale it. And let's move it. So now it's below the ground, right about there. Scale it again. Too far. Whoops. We don't want it there. So now let's scale it this way. And let's see what we got. It's still scaling the whole way in it. So let's move it. Now let's scale it. And move it. And let's see what we got. Move down. It's a little bit that way. Okay. So now we want to um, import another asset. And let's go to images and let's get uh, the brick. Okay, I don't like this being named plane. I'm going to name this floor. Okay, and I can drag my floor and put it on there. Or I could have put it up here. Okay. There we go. And I want to see this hotkey before I start this. Command, command Q. Okay. So, you're going to build this. And yours better look better than mine. Because I don't know quite why these are not sitting at the right angle. And then you're going to publish it. And you're going to send it out. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, let's just save the scene. And uh, we'll call it 
at uh, game one. Okay, so if I go back to materials, assets, there's my game one. All right, so we're going to go. Again, if we go to play this, let's do play it. Say, Miss G, nothing's playing. Yeah, there's nothing playing, all right. So we're going to make sure we're back in the scene. we got to have something that we can see through. Remember, we got no camera. We deleted the camera. So we are going to, and this may take a couple minutes, unfortunately. Um, assets, import package, and we need characters. So when this comes up, we're going to import all of them. And yep, that's going to take a little while. Well, mine's going pretty fast. I would not expect yours to go this fast. But it will get there. Be patient. Now again, this mismatched castle, if you will, is sitting on terrain. It's sitting on something. If I move it off of the grass, if you will, um, it's going to fall. So you're going to get the uh, look of uh, Avatar when those guys were climbing up uh, those little in-the-air um, islands, if you will, to get their dragon. It's going to be floating. So and you wonder what the heck's happened. Well, what happened is it's not, it can't sit on anything, and so it's, it's just falling. So make sure that whatever you build... Um, it's sitting on some form of object. And if you have something that's, you know, we start building our objects to move and shoot and whatever, if they go off the terrain, they fall. So same, uh, same as you and I, if we step off a cliff, we're falling. Or go skiing, step off, you're, you're falling or skiing, if you will. Okay, so we got, so we are going to go, um, it's still spinning. So down here, down here, let's sort of move this out of the way, can we? Spinning wheel of death here, yeah, we moved it out. So, okay, so standard assets, click on it. Characters, click on it. And we want first person. Okay, and we want prefabs. There they are. So characters, first person, prefabs. We're going to grab this guy right up here. Now, let's make sure he's sitting up. Do not put him under the ground. We want him up here. Okay, so now let's hit play. There we are. You can move the mouse, click around. Hit your uh, arrow keys, whoa, and move around. And we can see that our floor is sitting off the ground. So let's stop it. Go back to scene. Make sure you're in scene and you've stopped it. It's no longer playing. And I've got my floor. Let me move that down some. Okay. All right. So now we can play the game. Now we're going to publish the game. So, game object, no, what is it? Um, file, build and run. Notice all these wonderful things we're going to start building for. We got like Xbox, we got um, PS4, we got Android, um, Blackberry, which is, you guys probably never heard of and may not be around much longer. Okay, so I chose PC, Mac. In Linux, I'm on a Mac, so I'm choosing Mac. Okay, I'm going to build and run. You can put it wherever you want it. Um, I'm going to put mine in 3D animation. I'm going to call it uh, Game 
three because I've built a couple of them. Save it. And before that happens, I'm going to again look. Not there. I'll command Q. Got it. Okay, so it's building it. It's building a game. Now, you're going to be either Google Driving or Google Classrooming this game to me so I can play it. You are not limited to the textures I gave you or the textures I put up. You can put any texture you want up there. So when you can build a different building if you want. But first, for the basic one, I want to see this one. So there I am. I'm going to play it. There it is. Boom. Now I turn my sound off because uh, um, it makes a loud sound. So moving with the mouse or W or the keypad. Now my, our character is here. Don't move your character off the terrain or it's going to fall. Command Q to quit or Control Q to quit. Okay, that's it. So build the terrain. Build the uh, castle or building if you want to. Make sure yours is synced up on the right angles. Not like mine right there. Um, put your textures on. Get your terrain uh, looking good. Let's close this. Get your terrain where it should be. And so the terrain, what I would probably do is scale this thing. Maybe make it one. And then you can, instead of you know having it scale back and forth, you can just sort of get it where you like it. Now that terrain is still a little bit there, but there we go. And then um, put your assets on it. And then build and run it and send it to me. This is the start of some exciting things. When we start publishing games, you can send them to your friends and um, you know start making some shooter games and have your game published by the end of the semester.